Ladies and gentlemen, we are back again with another game day vlog. This is going to be an absolute banger. Guys, your support over the last couple of weeks has been actually ridiculous. I cannot believe how much everyone has got around these videos. It has gone so much better than expected. I love when you guys connect with us. And if you see Steph or myself in person, come up, say hello and get a photo. Or if you can't see us, just text us on Instagram or whatever platform, we'll send you guys a text back. You can also go on our website as well. We do mentoring and coaching on our website. So have a flick through that. But anyways, thank you. Long story short, thank you. And let's change up the vibe a little bit. Alrighty guys, you already know the purple is on. The vibe is serious now. Let's get into it. Round five, we are three and one so far. We've beaten a couple of really good sides. And Dingley this week are playing Morty Bray. Now, Morty Bray are towards the bottom of the ladder, but they have some banger players. So some real big players that are good as, but their bottom talent drops off. So I reckon we do have their measure. We're just gonna get going. My coach on training on Tuesday, Zach Horsley, he's a new coach, he's like, I watched your whole vlog and I wasn't in it. What's going on? So shout out to Horsley, mate. Absolutely love that. You're a legend. I might interview you after the game, if you're lucky. <laughs> so with my year this year, I'm 22, as I've said in the past couple of vlogs, I'm the third youngest in the team at the moment. So in our team, Dingley Dingoes. And I was having a look at the stats and I was number one for possessions in the comp so far. So I'll pop that up on the screen. Just pop it up somewhere. Yep, is it there? Yeah, get it right there. <laughs> but I was showing that to one of my mates and he's like, yeah, but what are you for turnovers? And I was like, oh, I haven't turned the ball over that much. I, sc I scroll down a little bit. I'm also number one for turnovers in the comp. And like, you know, Bro, I was so demoralized. I was like, oh yeah. One of the guys commented on one of my videos. Oh yeah, because butcher in the comp. And I was like, nah, man. Like I don't butcher the footy, but I obviously have been butchering it a little bit. I think I drive it long. So this week I'm going to be really good with my skills as well. Just, uh, just something I found funny. Something I found funny. A little bit of friendly banter that goes around. But yeah, um, I also filmed a little bit of content during the week. Uh, during this week, so let me let me know what you guys think of that. I'm, I'm keen to hear it all. This is what the chef has prepared up for life. Hopefully, you can get a kick tomorrow. We've got a few white fillet steaks there with some rice. He's getting the extra carbs. I'm stuck with the salad because I'm putting on too much weight. And I've got a marathon in a few weeks, and I'm looking pretty fat. So, <laughs> so I'm just about to eat breakfast with Steph, and. What do you think of that? He's put his eggs on top of his, on top of his apple. That is feral, mate. What have you got to say for yourself? That is actually feral, mate. Eggs on top. <laughs> it is game day morning and I am so pumped up for this one. It is looking beautiful outside. I'm currently just cooking myself some lunch. Look at that. It's gonna be dry. It's gonna be dry by the time we get out there. So you know what that means? 10 bounces, baby, let's go. Cooking that pre-game feed. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I always charcoal my chicken because I'm afraid that I'm gonna get food poisoning. Snow bear, are we gonna win today? Yeah, we are. Blue star, boys. These boys, we knew they were gonna come out hot, all right? They had a win last week, boys, so they've come out hot. But now, we responded, boys, we responded. So these first five minutes, I want you to go out there and finish exactly how you did. Bring the heat early. Ladies and gents, almost ready to go to the game. So pumped up. I went and watched my Bradley Coach the 19s. Obviously, you guys saw that footage. Let me know if you liked it or not. One of the most important parts of the week. Fruity socks to the game. What do we have today? The sloth socks. That is going to get me absolutely dialed in before the game. Let's go. You already know, guys. Packing my bag pre-game. We have honey. The sweeter, the better. We all know that. Quick carbs, straight to the dome, about 20 minutes before the game. And a bin in here. Bin in here. The rooms for the day. Lloydie. Hey. You right. 
Welcome back to another game day vlog, everyone. I'm wearing number six again. I've got the ball now on the far wing in the first contest of the game. And as you saw before the game, my goal was to run 10 bounces in one game, the most I reckon I've ever taken. Now, I wanted to get myself involved in the game early again. So that's me again, just getting like bursting through a pack. And that's a really good lesson, actually. If you are getting tackled, if you get tackled straight away, try to just, you know, be really tight through the core and just work through it a little bit. Now, as you can see, again, I've got the ball on the halfback and I'm running and bouncing. Got a really nice kick there, long and deep, and hit Tommy Moorcroft on the wing. Absolutely love that. Today, I really wanted to make an effort to be hard at the footy, but because it was such a nice day, I did really want to get some good outside ball as well. Got a kick there and then got smothered and just got another one out to clear the area. If you do ever have the ball in a contest really deep, try to just get it as wide and as high as you can like I did then because if you try to center it and you don't know where you kick it to, the chances are that you're going to hit one of their players up. I actually made that mistake last week if you did watch that vlog. Lockie Benton's got the ball again. Man should be playing AFL. Absolute star. Hits me up in the middle, number six. Lambros takes off again. We love that. The meters gained. A couple of the comments last week and the week before were saying, you get over a thousand meters gained every week. And I don't know if I do or not, but it means a lot for you guys saying that. That is one of my goals to get some meters gained. Crashed that pack and took a mark there, which was good. Very, very good. And I'm just looking at that little ball guy for us in the middle there. I wanted to punch this kick. I don't know what happened, but I kind of scooped it. Shit house. Really, really bad. So you can see I'm angry as with myself there, but I want to show you guys the things that I don't do well also. The footage there didn't really show, but I did take on one bloke there. Took a bounce and got it long. I reckon I've taken about five bounces already. I think in the first quarter, I took around seven or eight. I'm not sure if they're all going to be captured on this footage, but I knew that I had to go. So I'm on the wing here holding my shape. So as you can see, I'm still trying to hold my shape, not getting sucked into the contest. And then I got it out there. So taking a bounce, ran it with me, got it on the left foot. Left foot's never perfect, but it does get the job done. Now, guys, just quickly, thank you so much for all the support buying the Lambros Fitness in-season AFL program. Currently, the program is selling so well. It's actually incredible. So just keep going to our website, lambrosfit.com, and just have a look even and leave a nice review. That would be amazing. That's the first quarter done. Just got that kick out, 26 to 9. So we've started extremely well, and in... Like on the boundary, their coach was kind of going off like, oh, like stop number six. And that's me again, driving a deep, running it forward. And the coaching box was getting a little bit pissed off because I was just running like, and no one could go with me. I knew I was the fastest on the ground. I know I'm going to be the fastest on the ground. And I just need to use that to my the best of my ability. And just look at this as a wingman. You don't need to get sucked in. That was an awesome handball by Petey. He's a superstar and a great captain. And I bitched that contact a little bit there, actually. I should have probably taken it front on. But anyways, back to Petey. He's our skipper and he's just the best captain. Like, he will always be coming off with, like, blood rule because he's always first in. That one now, I handballed to the big Ruckman. Probably shouldn't have. And it wasn't the best handball either. But we kind of got away with it there. And here I'm running. This would have been player of the day. I've ran it from the back line. And that was going through. Like, that kick was definitely going through. It got smothered. But I ended up getting it out to a Ruckman. And he kicked a goal. So I was absolutely beaming in from the halfback square just to get that ball on the rebound. Now, guys, as you can see in that scoreboard, it was 7.33 right there. This is when all of the stuff starts. So... There, I just got need in the hip. That was all right. But from 10 minutes into the second quarter, I've never experienced anything like it. I was getting followed around all over the ground. The guy I was on, oh, that's me again there, just quickly running through. I'll talk to you about that in a second, but it's 67 to 34, so we're up. Anyways, back to my own performance just quickly. I've never experienced anything like it. I was trying everything I could to shake this, but the guy was like hitting me off the ball, like... I don't know, man. Like, literally holding me when his team had the ball. He wasn't even trying to play footy. Like, as you can see, number 11 there, he was literally in my pocket, like, holding my jumpers, pulling my arms behind my back, doing the dirtiest stuff all day long, and it just really pissed me off, man. Like, I'll talk about it after the video, so if you actually want to listen to a, like, a real big debrief, 
I don't know. It's kind of like, it gets real. If you want to listen to something real, just watch to the end of the video because shit gets really real. Anyways, I'm just going to talk about footy right now and just watch this, guys. This is me. This is me taking my frustration. I'm coming in now and this was the guy that was pissing me off. Bang! Just absolutely put him on the fence. No word of a lie. All the supporters were right where the camera is, like underneath, all of like underneath there. And... We were literally going at it for like a minute straight, just absolutely going. And then after it, he's like, oh, we're going to go around two, bro. Like, and I was like, come on, man. Like, <laughs> don't, don't be like that. Um, but yeah, just, just try to fight it out. If you ever do get tagged, just try to keep your head and fight it out on every occasion. So the score here, obviously we're still up. We're actually dominating, but I'm just having the most unpleasant day of all time because I'm literally like someone is on me just to stop me, not even to play footy. So it's kind of just like random, but that's me. Anyway, I got a quick kick. I knew I had to be good this last quarter. Look at me, keep running here and just put body in front of it. Got a smother, took a bounce, split the defender and then got it going for the boys. Make sure if a defender is coming at you, you always try to split them. It is so important. Now here, I'm doing a couple of all right things. I went up for a contest there, drove my legs, got it out. And as you can see, I'm still running. I'm getting my hands on the ball a lot. But yeah, stuff's just, it's just so difficult when you're being like held off the ball all day. Like the umpires were, were like seeing it a little bit, but they weren't fully aware of it. And a lot of the boys later on in the day was, was seeing it. But I mean, what can you do about it really? Like sometimes it's just a bit tough. Now, guys, this is it. What you've all been waiting for, about to come right up. This is me getting absolutely knocked out. So I'm number six on the bottom left of the screen, man. Like in the fourth quarter, here's me. Just take a mark. Bang. Tell me what you guys think. Tell me if you think that should be a report. Whatever you whatever you think it may be. But yeah, it wasn't good at all. I ended up finishing the game on 23 disposals, 84 super coach points, and we won the game. But let me know what you guys think should happen after that hit. And I love you guys. Stay tuned for the rest of the video. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, finally he's got his moment in the sun. The new coach of 2023, Zach Horsley. Mate, tell us about today. Yeah, I'm glad to be here, mate. I watched last week, didn't get a mention, so it's, uh, it's good to be on the uh, YouTube channel with you. No, I, was, I was hunting for it, but it was a good win out there by the boys. Um, I reckon you've ticked off 35 as well yourself. So oh, I don't know about that. It, it'll, be a long, uh, it'll be a long YouTube video this week, won't it? Going through your whole life reel. Yeah, you've got, some, you've got some interesting philosophies down at the club. Um, you got the boys going this year, though, I think. Yeah, how do you, how do you reckon um, the boys are ticking over at the moment? Uh, we're looking alright, four in a row, and you know, yeah, it's, it's more about yeah, it's more about the way we're playing than, than the results themselves. So you know, we just take it as it yeah. comes. One final question, mate. Um, so obviously your nickname's Horse, mm. and uh, your last name is Horsley, but I heard there was another reason why that last name, uh, the nickname was Horse. What are your thoughts? My actual nickname's Horse Feet. Um, <laughs> One of the boys when I was about 14 um, at cricket called me horse feed because it sounds like Horsley. Um, so usually I get feed. It's just been at, um, at Dingley and you call me horse. So I'll run with it. It works a bit better for me, I think. So. All right, all right. Yeah, it's good. Thanks, mate. No worries at all. Here goes 2023. Let's go. Beautiful. Thanks, boys. I'm on ground duty. Yay to see you. That's a wrap, guys. Got the win, 138 to 53. Good win there. Been a huge day today. Unfortunately, all day I was getting smacked off the ball. I don't know if you guys will see it in the highlights, but it sucked. And I've just got to keep going and keep my head up because games like this, so I'm going to cop it at the end of the day. Hey guys, um, it's currently 5am right now. I got home last night at about 12. So I've literally been trying to sleep for five hours and pretty much haven't got any sleep at all. My body is so sore, like, just want to debrief yesterday's game. Um, obviously you guys can't really see off the ball what's going on, but I was getting tagged off the halfback flank. I'd be a hundred meters off the ball. This guy would be grabbing my arms like behind my back and 
And like when I was trying to run, it'd be like holding my jumper 100 meters off the ball. If you guys do want to take your footy to the next level, Lambros 30 for 30% off anything on the website. So head to the website, get yourself an in-season training program to dominate your footy. Tell us about your 100th game. 